I want to tell you a story today. Um, I remember about seven or eight years ago reading something about myself online um, where a, a blogger, I guess, maybe, took to insulting me quite harshly on the shape of my body. Um, the words that I remember were disproportionate how big and wide my hips were in comparison to how small my legs are and disproportionate is the word that they used repeatedly um, and how horrible it looked the way I was shaped and the way my body was built and um, body image and weight has been a thing that I've dealt with my entire life and it hasn't been easy living that down or living it out in the public eye um, and everyone having opinions and everyone feeling like they're entitled to their opinion just because they have a social media account or a platform um, to say what they want to say. And I'm looking and I'm seeing women go to extreme measures to change what they look like to fit a standard of beauty that's been set um, by someone perhaps that they don't know, who doesn't know them, who they may never know, who honestly may not even care. Um, and women are hurting themselves. People are hurting themselves to look like what they think would make them more acceptable or more beautiful. I remember coming into this industry and um, people didn't know what I looked like, but industry insiders knew that I was the girl who wrote a lot of music and sang on a lot of music. And it was just a known fact that as much as people loved my writing and my voice, that it was a hard time for someone to wrap their head around um, someone who looked like me being a recording artist. And so when that finally did happen, my weight was the number one subject not the hit record, not, it didn't matter. And I was told, get used to it, it's going to be a subject that you're going to have to just know is going, you're gonna to have to talk about it. And so I understood that. I didn't look like the other girls who came out around the time that I did. I, I was different. Um, and I thought perhaps, you know, once people got used to seeing me, if we had success, that that would go away. But I can tell you, that even now, 20 something years later, um, oftentimes the first thing anybody wants to talk about before it's new music or what I have happening, what's new in my life, the first thing they want to talk about is the weight. That hasn't changed so many years later. So it's still something that sits in front of us like that. And I've, I've been seeing um, horrific stories online and on social media where people are giving accounts of you know, horrible experiences that they've had trying to change their bodies to look like something that they think the world would be more acceptable. And my reason for doing this is it struck me so hard. I've been seeing it almost every day for weeks now. And I just want to tell you that you are beautiful, just like you are. When God made you, he made you unique and there's nobody else like you in the world. Even, you may have relatives that you look a whole lot alike, or, but there is only one you and you are unique. You are a fingerprint and there's nobody else like you. Your beauty is your own and you don't owe it to anyone to change that to fit a standard that they've set, whoever they are. Um, I want you to know you're beautiful, you're wonderful, you're uniquely created, and God was intentional with you. And you gotta find and you gotta see the beauty in who you are as a unique being, that there is not another you ever. Before now, after you're no longer here, you are you are unique work by God. And that's beautiful. If there's something about yourself that you don't like and you want to change it, love where you are until you get an opportunity to change it. But don't harm yourself trying to be something that someone else says you should be or look like something that someone else says you should look like. 
I don't know if the day will ever come that I can do an interview where someone won't ask me about my weight. I've just come to accept that it's something that exists. And I'll talk about it if it helps someone else. Um, and eventually we do get to the music and we do get to other things, but um, I felt the need to tell you today, sister, brother, you are beautiful. You are uniquely handcrafted by God. And you might not look like him or her, but guess what? They don't look like you. And God didn't make a mistake with you. There is no thing that you need to make yourself be for the sake of being loved or feeling great or beautiful. You are beautiful just like you are, and I want you to know that today.